In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying polynomials. And there's a couple different ways to do this. You could FOIL polynomials or you could distribute things sometimes, uh, just depending on what kind of problem you're looking at. The way that I'm going to show in this video is the box method because this works for, for any, any problem. So like the first one here that I have says find the product of 6v times 2v plus 3. So you might notice you could distribute on this one. You could distribute through here and through here. But I want to show you uh, the box method on this one, even though it would probably be easier to just distribute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, a box, a rectangle. Um, it doesn't matter where you put things. I could put the 6V on the top or I could put it here on the side. You could switch those around. That's fine. And the other piece I'm going to put in here. So 2V plus 3. All right. Uh, so all I'm going to do now is just multiply these. 6V times 2V is uh, and then from here, I would just combine any like terms that I can see. Um, but here there are none. So this would just be my answer. 12v squared plus 18v. That would be my answer here. So this one, yeah, probably easier just to distribute on this one. Uh, but I still wanted to show you the box method. So on this next one here, you can't really distribute. Um, you could FOIL the first, the outer, and then the inner in the last you could do that that was foiling um, but again i'm going to show you the box method on this one just to just to show you that it works with any um, any set of polynomials so first i'm going to put 2n and plus 2 on the side or you could put it on the top it doesn't matter we'll get the same answer and on the top i'm going to put 6n plus 1 so we're going to go ahead and multiply these 2n times 6n, that's going to be 12n squared. 2n times 1 is just 2n. 2 times 6n is 12n. And then 2 times 1 is just 2. So this one, you can see we are going to have some like terms here to combine, right? This is a 12n, and this is a 2n. So kind of along the diagonal here are some like terms. We can combine these. So this is just going to give me 12n squared, uh, 12n and 2n. That's going to give me 14n. And then the 2 is just a 2. Let's try another one. So find the product 4p minus 1 squared. So this is just 4p minus 1 for both both of these binomials are going to be 4p and minus 1. All right, and we'll go ahead and multiply these. So 4p times 4p is 16p squared. 4p times negative 1, that's going to be negative 4p. Same thing for this one, 4p times negative 1, that's negative 4p. And last, we have negative 1 times negative 1. Uh, negative negative is a positive positive one all right um, and again we're going to combine like terms you notice that along that diagonal is where our like terms are um, so when i go to rewrite this i'm going to have 16 p squared this is going to be minus 8 p when i combine those like terms and then plus one Okay, so let's try a harder one here. This is find the product, and I'm multiplying a binomial times a trinomial. So this one you definitely would not want to try to distribute or FOIL or anything. You can't really FOIL this one, um, and it would definitely be very difficult to distribute. So let's just start by writing this out in the box method, 4a and plus 2 on the side, or you could put it on the top. We'll get the same thing. On the top, I'm going to put 6 a squared minus a plus 2. And there's my box. So now I can multiply these. 4a times 6a squared, that's going to give me 
a to the third power. Or 2 times 6a squared, that's going to be 12a squared. 4a times negative a is negative 4a squared. 2 times negative a, that's going to be negative 2a. Um, 4a times 2 is 8a. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so this one definitely a little longer. Um, and you still see kind of the same pattern here, right? Uh, along the diagonals, I can combine these like terms. I can combine these like terms also. And then just bring everything else down. So the 24a to the third, there's nothing there to combine. Um, but these I can combine. 12 minus 4, that's going to give me 8a squared. Over here, 8a minus 2a, that's going to be 6a. And then the 4 is just a 4. All right, so that's really as hard as it gets. Um, using the box method, um, just be careful. Keep track of your coefficients, your exponents. It, it can be easy to make a mistake in there sometimes.